right, so we made it out this morning, did a sunrise mission with my buddy Doug, and uh, we ended up finding the redfish. We uh, tried something new today. We took a block of uh, Menhaden chum with us, and it seemed to really get the drum stirred up because we had it right behind the boat. Uh, caught four really nice ones up to about 24 inches, and uh, caught them all in about five to six feet of water. Um, we tried to fish a little deeper because it was a low tide, and it seemed to really pay off fishing on that ledge rather than up on the flat. So, I always like to throw a little bit of tactic in on these videos. Um, so, I just want to explain how we're kind of fishing this because I see a lot of people asking online and stuff. You know, how do you go about catching these fish? Been out a few times, haven't caught them yet. So, a lot of people take the old bass route and uh, just shoreline pound the whole way around this thing. And that works really well on high tide. I do it sometimes as well. Um, you know, people just target the drop off. And your bait usually stacks up along those edges and you can catch some nice fish. Well, this morning we were stuck dealing with the low tide. So, on low tide, we switch it up a little bit. Instead of looking along this shoreline where it's super shallow and you very well could even be running aground, just not a lot there for fish to hold on. Those fish tend to move out. So, what I look for is these deeper pockets, this next drop off, not your one to three foot range in here, but your range where it drops down to five to eight feet. If you can find a pocket, you know, the size of a Olympic swimming pool or something like that right in there or something like this, that's prime time to just drop an anchor, float some minnows and let the bait push itself from out the flats and it come out to that deeper water and those fish are going to follow them. And that's what happened today. We got on these drum and uh we stayed in one spot on anchor the whole time and just let the fish come to us and it wasn't as exciting as say finding a school of them on the edge of a shoreline and just hammering them but two and a half hours we caught seven or eight fish uh you know it, it was a good day trout flounder drum you know a little bit of everything Back out here again for an early morning before the birthday party. First fish in the boat, nice thick drum. Popping court, minna. Oh man, let's see what we got. Got our netter, huh? Oh, you got your hook back. That's a plus. I lost six out here the other day. Good fish. Good boat up. Yeah, it's a nice drum. Nice drum. Oh, yeah. Come on up. You got to come up. Down the bottom. Still lively. That's a good one. Got him! Hell yeah! Booyah! One-handed with a camera. That's a good one, Doug. Hold that puppy up. Sorry I gave you a hard time about such a big surf oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Dude, that's a nice one. Look at that! Look at that! That's a pretty set of spots too, man. He's got a couple knots on the tail. Heck yeah. Throw them in the cooler. Kick it, kick it, cooler. A little secret, we're running some clam chum and some Menhaden chum just to see what it'll do. I've never tried this before, but we're catching quite a few drums, so maybe I'm on something. Doug with another hookup. Think it's a ray? I think it's fish. Could be a fish. It, it just feels heavy, man. It just, I don't know. Heavy is what we want, bro. I felt a head shake when I picked your rod up. I just saw it. This is a drum. Uh, my first limit. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. Bring him on in. Oh, don't let him get around the anchor. Line. Bring him in. All you got to do is just clear a little bit closer and he won't be in the anchor. 
He's coming up the side of the boat. I'm with you. All right. Please, please. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, come on. Oh, here. You don't pull with that net. Oh. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Out. Woo. Bam. That's a pretty one, too. That's a red one. Real red. Hold that one up. Number three. Booyah! Look at the blue in the tail on this guy. See if I can get out oh, of the sunshine. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Dude, that is sick. Pretty specimen. Good job, Doug. Limit out. Ow! Oh, he's not going to fit. <laughs> oh, that's a bad problem to have. Ow, oh, my thumb's stuck in his gills. <laughs> There we go. Another fish in the box. All right. So that wraps up a little uh, early morning fishing mission. Uh, we got four nice drum in the cooler called, called speckled trout. Borderline keeper threw him back. Doug, synopsis of the day. First time I put a limit of puppy drum on my boot, I'm, I'm stoked. Nice. I'm, I'm shaking with good feelings right now. Woo! Lots of fish cleaning coming up. Doug with a limit. Good work today, solid, uh, solid fishing.